Hello beautiful people. I am in Warsaw now and um, I kind of not just got settled here but kind of did about a few hours ago and I discovered this cool little place called Boot Town. So I want to show you uh, all around this little place. It's a cool little concept. It's kind of like a food court but more classy and I guess this is kind of like in their museum um, style. It's kind of a museum in here as well. Uh, so they have all different types of food, things that, you know, they have some uh, food called, well, it's not called, but it's Philly cheesesteak, which is from the U.S., uh, from Philadelphia. So I want to try that little uh, restaurant here that has Philly cheesesteak and see what that's like. But follow me throughout uh, Warsaw uh, because I'll be trying to discover some new things. Uh, it's not my first time in Warsaw. Uh, but I haven't stayed here long term enough to see much. So I am going to do that. It looks like I want to see what they have to offer as far as not just nightlife, but, you know, just normal living for me. Since I'm kind of just, I'm not a tourist. I'm just living here and living different places in Poland. And before I move on to my next destination, which will be permanent, I want to see as much as I can of Warsaw, not the typical uh, touristy places, but you know, little out of the way places that you wouldn't expect. But one thing I do know is that Poland has a, a very good knack for having these cool little places that are decorated so, so smart and they have this knack. It's, it's unlike a lot of places I've been to in Europe. Okay, now this is more of the food town. And uh, I'm just going to just give you um, a little tour through my voiceover of, uh, of the actual inside of the food town. Now inside this building, it also has a museum. Uh, I haven't got a chance to go there yet, but I did take some videos of the outside of that, uh, of the of the um, actual museum, and I'll upload that later. But I was really surprised of the quality of the food here. And on this particular day, um, a few of the, the restaurants or the um, food areas were not open because I was there so early but I just really was surprised about uh, what was so many different things inside the food town upstairs was also a theater uh, but it was more like a boutique theater very small I uploaded a video of that too I'll, I'll actually add that as well because I was really surprised at how um, it was more upscale um, theater so here it's just, you know, like I said, I'm just walking through. I had just discovered it. It was early in the morning at this time. Um, the first video I showed you, it was more people there. Um, they were working because there's area you can work if you are a, um, a remote worker. It's a great place because you can go to certain areas and put your laptop up like this area. They have, you know, outlets where you can plug your laptops or your phones. So it's very, very comfortable if you like to just get away from your home or wherever you work remotely from and just come here and have your meal and work too. So yeah, so I'll just stop talking now and just you can just watch a little bit of the video of, um, of this place. And I uh, decided that for me, I like places like this because it gives you a way of getting out also of the house if you are a remote worker too. And I'm speaking about that because I work remotely and I'm always trying to find some cool little spots to kind of just get out and at the same time be able to work from. So this is one of those places. And Warsaw is pretty cool because it's the capital city is so much to do. It's big one side of town you have old town and this area is more like the I guess the business district where there's a lot of high rises and a lot of corporations and different types of 
businesses there around. So you have so many options. So where this part across the street from this little area where I'm going is where the, where the uh, museum is located. And right now it's, you know, still the beginning of January. And I love about Warsaw, they still keep a lot of their Christmas de decorations open. And, but on this one there, it looks like they're taking down the Christmas tree. They're doing some things like that. So that's what this area is. That's why you see a lot of kind of wooden crates and things like that because they were taking down um, a lot of the Christmas ornaments but that's not everywhere because Old Town still has their Christmas you know uh, decorations up and the last time I was in Warsaw during the ending of Christmas what well, was actually Christmas time last maybe two years ago I noticed that they kept their Christmas decorations in Old Town and a lot of other areas they kept them up until around February. So I'm hoping to show you videos of Old Town and how beautiful it was decorated for the holiday season. So now I ordered, look at all this good food. I ordered the spicy one, this chow mein here. And now I'm waiting. <laughs> and so cute. My dim sum and ramen so now i will wait Ooh, i'll try that next time sushi too so yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video i'll be back with more content on warsaw and all the other places that i have discovered so enjoy.